some hurricanes make quite epic journeys. Slowly moving from Africa all the way across the Atlantic, maturing and intensifying over miles and miles of open ocean. And as a now mighty hurricane nears the U.S., we ask what it is that steers a hurricane towards land, and moreover, what are the forces that weaken and eventually destroy them? A key factor in answering these questions involves an area of high pressure over the Bermuda Islands. This area, known as the Bermuda High, plays a major role in determining the path of a hurricane once it reaches the western Atlantic Ocean. Some years, this area is small and hurricanes are steered north over the ocean. When this is the case, a hurricane generally weakens due to cooling sea surface temperatures and high wind shear. Such a hurricane may dissipate without ever actually making landfall. On other years, though, the Bermuda High is large and storm systems are pushed towards the Gulf of Mexico. The hurricane picks up additional fuel from warm Caribbean waters before turning north and heading for land. At landfall, however, a hurricane quickly finds itself out of gas. Without the conditions to sustain it, the hurricane heat engine breaks down. Yet with its demise imminent, a hurricane rarely goes quietly. Still storing enormous amounts of energy, the hurricane releases it in the form of rain. The staggering amount of water dumped by a single hurricane has been calculated to be enough to fill Lake Erie. As a consequence of such a large amount of rain, freshwater flooding is the number one cause of hurricane deaths. Nevertheless, within days after making landfall, a hurricane finally meets its finish. If they are prepared, people and their belongings weather the storm and turn their eyes back to the ocean, watching for the next developing system already traveling on its long trip across the Atlantic. <laughs>